Alrighty, we're going to set up for oscilloscope. Oscilloscope. The scope, okay? So here we, here we go. There's an oscilloscope right here. So we carefully take that out. Put it down like so. Not sure if you'll be able to see this, so I'll put this back far enough. We pull these out on both sides. So I'm pulling this thing away from the oscilloscope and just rotate it down a little bit, like that. And now it sits down. I like to have it sit up a little bit taller, about like that. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. And then also down in the cabinet underneath, there's an HP function generator, which I set right next to it. And then we connect the power supply to the HP function generator. And I just leave this right here. I unravel the first couple little bit of the O-scope because hopefully people will discover the outlet right here. And then also we need two sets of the black and red cables, banana, banana cords, banana patch cords. And those cables are, are found in here, just the, the long style. And I put one set kind of right here in between the computer interface box and the oscilloscope. And we find another set. And we put it right here between the HP and the oscope. And then I go ahead and I set up the first set plug the black into the output right there that's touching the low or the ground signal and attach black to the black on channel one and then I plug the red into the high and the red into the red on channel one. I like to set this uh, seconds per division knob at about 0.2 and fully right calibration knob fully right fully right and then make sure this is on um, there and well we can do channel 2 but channel 1 is fine here but anyways the, the students will be led through all the knobs to turn and buttons to push that's oscope set up